Hello, welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following me as I explore the wide world of pens. I got a DHL package today. And you may ask, uh, what did you get? Well, a little giveaway came from China. There's some interesting little markings there. But no further ado, I got two Pen BBS pens. And they are bought on Tobu Focus. A selling system to buy items that is on the Tobu website, but will ship them to the United States. So there's a, a little bit of controversy. Some people are not happy about using them. I've used them a, a number of times now and have been very happy with the results. So this is a pen we'll look at later. I'm very happy with it, impressed with it. But this is really the focus of the video. Yes, it is the 535 2021 year pen. The sleeve just looks normal, but if you slide off the sleeve, you'll see a very red box with a classic Pen BBS logo embossed there. If you flip it over, you'll see some more information. Makers of fine pen since 2005 and made in China. We take the lid off, and it's not magnetic, it's not, uh, it doesn't have a thing. And you see another nice little insert. And if you flip it over, you'll find filling instructions, which is very useful. Then we'll look at the pen, and we'll see a cellophane sleeve that says 153 on it. I haven't found where the pen is numbered yet, but here is the pen. Let you know up front, there's not going to be any writing. This is just a quick review of this pen visually. Nobody's, I think, has done a video on it, but I could be mistaken. You know the cabochon there, which looks interesting. We have a nice insert there at the top of the cap. It's just an interesting design. Kind of reminds me a little bit of bamboo here. We have Pen BBS labeled there and it looks like we have the symbol for the year of the ox. And then there's the number. 153 and uh, your eyes are probably better than mine. That's one of the reasons why this video is going to be short, because I have to have a minor laser surgery done tomorrow. Hopefully it works well. At the bottom of the barrel, and we'll see a very, very big barrel, long barrel. See an interesting metal ring there with some nice shape to it. The cap comes off in a little over one turn, and we'll see a standard nib. It's gold tone, but it does have, again, identifying symbol on it. I thought I ordered a medium, but I got a fine. You know, it looks like that standard Waverly type, you know, a little bit of an upturn to it. I'm not worried about whether it's adjusted. We're not going to do any writing with this. But I thought that there are still some available on Etsy. Here's uh, what I see today, which is April 26th of 2021. One of the things that's very apparent is this is a very unique section that has not been on any pen. The threads are at the end, which the 323 aluminum pen had threads at the end of the section. But you can really hold it anywhere. It feels good. Uh, the girth is about as small as I'd like it to be. We'll give you the dimensions of the section. 
The pen is lightweight, will give you the weights. And you'll see at the blind cap here at the end of the barrel, there's threads. So for those people that love to post your pens, the most secure posting possible doesn't change the weight or the balance at all. And it fits well, either posted or unposted. I haven't seen how many, uh, whether it's multi-threaded. So can you get that clip and cabochon to line up with the nib? So far, not. Nope, doesn't. So it looks like there's two threads there, and it's either on that side or on the other side here. So this is a piston filler like the 355. Maybe that's why they call this the 535. So you unscrew the blind cap. You'll see a nice piece of aluminum there, which has a, a place where the threads are knocked down, so you could use a wrench to take it apart. So you bring up the piston filler. You turn it counterclockwise to engage this piston and then you keep turning until it disengages and it takes a, a pretty amount of effort to disengage it and you'll see that bayonet style design there that was the model 2 of the 355 and it goes up and down very easily looks like we're going to get a lot of ink there then you come back up you turn it clockwise to disengage that piston rod you bring it back down when you screw in the blind cap, it blocks off the ink going to the feed, so you can take it on an airplane. It's not going to burp. It's not going to give you any issues. It's the new, uh, looks like the new feed design. It just unscrews like we would expect, and we'll see that standard Pen BBS nib assembly. So that's it. Look forward to more further review after I recover from some laser surgery. Don't worry about it. It's um, something that needs to be done. I'm glad that I uh, caught the problem early and my optometrist is very good at getting me an appointment the next day because I went to see her today. So we need to show the 2021 pen, the 535, in relationship to the 492, which was the 2020 year of the pig pen. Here's a 355, a 456, a Pelican M800, and a Pilot Metropolitan. This pen is by far the longest pen of the group. And that length is going to be whether capped, uncapped, posted, whatever. It's also pretty good size in the, in the girth. So it's definitely... A bigger pen than I expected and certainly the longest pen besides the 267 that pen BBS has made so that's the pen do I like it yes I do is it a very unique design yes it is and as a lover and a collector of pen BBS pens certainly this is a pen that I needed to have in my collection and I'm glad it is I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the pen. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope this video finds all of you safe, healthy, and happy, enjoying your pens. And if you ordered a 535, hopefully you get it relatively soon, and hopefully you like it as much as I do. So we're going to say this is the end. Bye. See you soon.